Hello and welcome to another video, my name is Late, and this is another Chelsea transfer news edit video for you guys where I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea news in the past 24 hours and um, some big news reports, again one of them is not really a transfer link, it's one of a uh, bit of a fantasy but again it's a possibility that he will be leaving it in the season and it is in regards to Harry Kane, his price valuation, how he will most likely be leaving Tottenham in the season but my question to you guys is would you want to see Harry Kane at Chelsea? Would he be your first choice striker if he was available? And of course, realistic. I'll be delving into my thoughts and opinions. And of course, latest reports on Harry Kane. I'll also be discussing Bayern Munich and their interest in signing Thomas Tuchel as Hansi Flick is looking likely to be to become the new German national manager, of course, leaving Bayern Munich. So there will be a vacant position for the Bayern Munich managerial role. Could Thomas Tuchel be going there if he was tempted enough? And then finally, I'll also be speaking about the injury update on Matteo Kovacic. Of course, he was not featured in yesterday's loss against Porto. Of course, we are advancing into semi-finals tonight. We find out who we face in the semis between Real Madrid or Liverpool. Will Kovacic miss City? I'll be answering that question and we'll be delving into how serious his injuries, of course. But before I do get into it, make sure you smash like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic that I do speak about. But without further ado, let's get straight into this news and video. Now, starting off with the injury update, this is the one that's really important because this is legitimate news. We need to find out and I need to tell you guys how long Kovacic is actually injured for. Now, of course, we know that he was unable to play yesterday. And the reason for that was because he felt uh, a tightness within his hamstring. Um, Thomas Nuko expresses his sadness after Chelsea midfielder Mateo Kovacic suffers a hamstring injury. Now, that's why I didn't feature. Now, I am told and a lot of people understand uh, from these new outsets that it's actually not too serious. There's nothing to panic or worry about. Thomas Tuchel shares his sadness after he confirmed Matteo Kovacic would miss Chelsea's FA Cup semi-final against Man City. Unfortunately, he won't be available for the Man City semi-final. Kovacic missed Chelsea's Champions League quarter-final clash on Tuesday night against FC Porto. We saw them book their place in the semi-final. He picked up a hamstring injury in training on Monday after Chelsea flew to Sevilla and it saw him ruled out. Now, you may see some images around social media where Kovacic was actually running with the Chelsea squad. Now, it's true. He did actually fly to Seville. He was on the plane. He went there to cheer the team on, to be there for support, etc., which is a nice thing to do. He didn't have to because he did pick up an injury, so he could easily have stayed home, but he wanted to fly with the team, which is fair enough for him. Um, good news for us as well in that in the fact that, you know, there's so much harmony in the fact that the squad is so united, but, of course, not good news that he is injured and he will be, in fact, missing... Uh, the semi-final clash against Man City at Wembley. Tuchel confirmed the hamstring injury post-match after the Porto games, of course, being confirmed by the manager, and he would be missing Saturday's FA Cup final. In Thomas Tuchel's words, yeah, for sure, unfortunately, yes, uh, Tom Thomas Tuchel on if Kovacic would miss a semi-final. On the injury and now being absent on Saturday, T Tuchel offered his sadness. Tuchel added, it was very sad to see him yesterday after 20 minutes in training to have this little muscle injury for more or less out of nothing. We played in the boxes for the second day after training at Cobham just to have a little sweat and he felt his hamstring. So I think for sure for the game against City, he is out. It is a big loss. I was very sad for him because we do not have many, so many experienced players that have played Champions League so many times. Uh, again, the main question here is, and the main problem we have here is we don't know the extent of his injury. We know for a fact he won't be playing against Man City, but we don't know the length of time he will be ruled out for. Thomas Sugo hasn't confirmed that, which indicates that he does know himself, otherwise he would have mentioned. So the physiotherapies don't know. Now, I have been told, from my understanding, it's not that serious. Um, I was given a time frame of one to two weeks. Don't quote me completely on that, but it's only one to two weeks. So again, he's he won't feature at all against Man City. I was told that as well. Um, it is a big miss. Especially with the fact that Kante needs to be nurtured. The fact that he played 90 against Porto and he might have to play 90 against City. You know, you're really risking Kante. At that age at 30, we know his injury problems. We know his injury problem with the muscular problems he has. You know, it's high risk now for Kante. We need to nurture him if possible. And this is where we lack the depth in. This is why, in my personal opinion, we need to dip into the market to buy, you know, a quality, quality midfielder who fits Tuchel's characteristics for a system, but also is a valid backup as well. Or, you know, can compete for the first team. There's actually good quality, not some dross that we've signed and then we've got to get rid of in two years. Actual good quality midfielder, bordering world class, that's able to compete with our midfield to give us some extra quality and depth. My question is, would you really want to throw him into a massive game like Man City? 
I wouldn't, honestly. You know, 19 years of age, he's going to get his experience. Because if Billy Gilmore makes a mistake, or that which leads to a Man City goal, and we end up losing this cup final, think about how, how damaging that will be to his confidence, how damaging that will be to his reputation. And again, that'll be really hard for him to recover. For a 19-year-old boy, that's really difficult. So I think it's too big of a game to throw him into. Maybe a Prem game, even that's risky, because every game from now on to the end of the season is a cup final. You don't want to be playing, you know, youth that haven't played much. So Kante, we need to make sure the conversation is nurtured, but that we get him back as soon as possible. Now moving on to some other piece of news, and it is in regards to Bayern Munich. Now Bayern Munich were knocked out of the Champions League last night, and it looks highly likely Hansi Flick will be leaving at the end of the season. Not that he will be sacked, um, but he has a really good relationship with the German FA, and there was rumours that he would one day become German, you know, the German national team's manager, because we know Joachim Lowe will be leaving at the end of the season. Um, there were clips as well that between the sporting director at Bayern and Hansi Flick, they actually have a very bad relationship. Their relationship is deteriorating, and of course, it makes sense. Hansi Flick will be leaving, but why does that? What does that have to do with Chelsea? And it is the fact that, of course, there will be a vacant position for the managerial role at Bayern Munich, meaning they're going to be in search for a manager. Now, Julian Nagelsmann is a likely candidate to replace him, but according to Sport Witness, Bayern Munich appreciate Thomas Tuchel, but are aware that it is almost impossible to take him away from Chelsea, which is, of course, good news. Thomas Tuchel just signed an 18-month contract in January, and it can, you know, it can be extended with a further year option of year by either side, by either party, whether that's from Tuchel's reps or from the Chelsea hierarchy. Whichever side likes to activate, that will be extended for a year. Uh, personally, for me, the way of things going, just hand them a three, four year long term deal. Just hand them the deal. I, I just don't see why. I understand the history of managers, but just back the guy. I'm tired of this manager who go around. We have the right guy. For once, we have a world-class manager. Please, let's back him. Let's support him. He's a tactical magician. He's a masterclass of a manager. Honestly, top manager. And this is why that when you have teams like Bayern Munich in for Thomas Tuchel, one of the best run clubs in world football, you know you've got a manager on your hands. So for me, we've got to keep Thomas Tuchel all close. Bayern Munich, back off. You're not having him. Go for Julian Nagelsmann. we got our guy. Leave us alone. Simple as that. He's just signed for Chelsea. Um, he's already, you know, he's managed Dortmund in the past. I don't think he'd want to go back to the Bundesliga. A very boring league. Um, again, he's, he's always wanted to manage the Premier League. He was actually desperate for the Chelsea job. Um, so for me, it makes perfect sense for him to to stay at Chelsea. And again, uh, if you, if they want to call, Chelsea are going to refuse. We're going to outright refuse. It's stupid to change this manager this season, especially the fact that we're building with Tuchel. So, yeah, stupid rumours. But moving on to the final report, and again, it's more of a talking point as it as it and it is in regards to Harry Kane. Now, Sky Sports News broke out four days ago that Harry Kane is expected to tell Tottenham that he wants to leave if they fail to qualify for the Champions League next season, which, by the way, is looking highly unlikely. Tottenham are currently in seventh position. There's so many teams competing for the top four spot. They're out of the Europa League, so they've only got one avenue to get Champions League football and with the recent performances uh, the, fact that, the fact that they got battered by Manchester United at home on Sunday uh, with the you know rumours of Jose Mourinho getting sacked and all this turmoil and you know <laughs> the bad situation at Tottenham it's looking highly likely Harry Kane will be leaving a guy in his prime a world-class striker arguably the best striker in Europe in world football alongside Lewandowski um, the main question is is it realistic for Chelsea to sign him and my answer to that straight away is no um, it's not and it's not because we haven't got the finances, because it is rumoured he will cost £150 million. The issue is Daniel Levy will never, ever negotiate with Chelsea because he actually has a passion and a hatred for Chelsea. He does not. It's a rule with Chelsea and Tottenham where we don't negotiate directly. The only way I see it happening is if we offer a ludicrous sum, uh, you know, upwards of £150 million, which I don't think we all do. The only benefit I see this is Harry Kane may be open to signing for Chelsea because of our ambition and money, but the fact that we're also still a London club, so he won't have to move houses. His family will still be settled in London as well. And logistically, it makes perfect sense to sign for Chelsea because for his career as well, to win trophies and ambition and higher wages, etc. Of course, the only problem is in negotiating directly with Spurs. Um, Daniel Levy will never, ever let Harry Kane sign for Chelsea. And that is unfortunately a fact. Hence why Chelsea should direct their full attention on Erling Haaland. But I just put it out there because it's been rumours that Harry Kane will definitely be leaving at Tottenham at the end of the season. And, you know, if Chelsea ever, if Chelsea cough up the money, you know, if we cough up, and this is the thing I have here, I know Daniel Levy will never negotiate with Chelsea, but every player has a price. If you put, a, you know, a fee that's lucrative enough, even that will tempt Levy. So it's as simple as that. We'll just have to wait and see. I personally don't see this one happening, but it's just a bit of a fun rumour for you guys. What do you guys think? Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Uh, smash like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see all of you guys for month's video. Peace.